Hello, everyone. We're on. Hi, team. Hi, friends. And I feel I feel um, it's important for me tonight to be like, hi, friends. Um, uh, because I'm so full of hay fever, so I apologise straight away if I look like a troll. Um, and I'm in my comfies, and I am really looking forward to <laughs> to trying this gin tonight. Um. So hi everybody, we're live on the Sip and Share page on Facebook and in the new Sip and Sh Sippers and Sharers Facebook group. And in that group is where all of the discount codes, any discount codes uh, that we are kindly given from beautiful small batch craft distillers across the UK will all go into that Facebook group. They'll all be in there. And the announcements, that announcement section will get uh, updated. Uh, hi, Chris. Sip and share, crikey. Warning him in my comfies. I am in my comfies. That is my formal warning to you all. If you are on, please say hello. Please tell me what you're sipping. Share what you're sipping. Um, it's definitely a week of week of gin this week after Wednesday's. I'm, I'm gonna mark it as incredibly successful. I was so pleased with how it went. First group live review, um, with the lovely team Laura from Dipple Tipple and all the products we tasted. Um, hi, Emily. Mwah. Big kiss to my best friend. Hello, gorgeous. Look how rough I look. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Wednesday, such a huge success. So thank you so much to the ladies that took part. And remember, if you do want to be involved. Hi, Kirsty. If you do want to be involved in our live group live sip and share um, event, they're now going to be monthly monthly and the next one is on the 15th of July um where we will select four lucky I'm gonna say ladies right um oh Emily are you joking <laughs> just don't look at this eye. um four lucky ladies to uh to win a free box a free box receive craft gin and uh taste it with me live on camera so that is coming up in July. So hello. So for those that don't know me, hi, I'm Kate. <laughs> I've just realised I've changed. Uh, I'll hide that. I'm, talking about. I'm Kate Carney from Sip and Share. Um, you probably know me by now. And this is our famous Friday Night Live first taste, first sip, first share tasting. And I'm really excited to try this brand. Um, and I'm going to show you the lovely bottle. And because this band seems to have a bit of a following, there seems to be a bit of uh, traction around this. A lot of people have uh, said to me, you know, before Sip and Share that I need to try it, which I was like, oh, interesting. Um, and then within Sip and Share have been saying that they have already got it. <laughs> Hi, Lorna. Good evening. Um, Julie, just loving this concept down to I'm drinking too much gin. Mother, you're my mother. I am your mother's daughter. So it is all your fault. It's all your fault. Um, so tonight, what brings us here together today is this. I'm, I can't wait to describe this to you. This manly beast. Now, I have been thinking a little bit about how I, I'm going to cringe at myself, how I would describe this. Put it this way. When my husband picked this bottle up, I fancied him a bit more than I normally do. That's how I describe this bottle. This is, a, for me... When I look at this, and if you don't know, I'm a marketing consultant by trade. Hi, Danny. This is a manly, um, kind of grr, slightly hipster bottle, moody and majestic. And when Sam held it, <laughs> we've been married for ages. When Sam held it, I was like, oh, it's got a beard going on. I was like, oh, rugged, nice. So this rascal gin, um, before I even drink it, I'm grateful for it, for making me fancy my husband a little bit more. If you could be, um, I'm just going to say this, if you could be sexually attracted to a bottle of gin, I feel this would be the one for me. <laughs> I didn't think before I said that, but it's true. Um, beautiful bottle. You know, think about the bottles that I've looked at over the past few weeks. All so different to each other. This has got a, for me, has a manly hipster vibe. And I don't know Dan, who is the founder, the creator of Rascal. And I love the name as well, Rascal Gin. Um, but uh, I have seen a picture of him and he kind of fits the brief, I think. Kind of fits the brief. But I am lucky to be interviewing him live on here next Wednesday at 8 o'clock. So I will meet the man himself. Um, who has created this Rascal Premium Gin. But yeah, stands on its own. It looks, the bottle feels lovely. <laughs> we're, all, we're all just fancy in the bottle now. Laura, I have not been drinking. No, no, I need one. I need one. Um, but no, I haven't. But yeah, beautiful bottle. It's kind of colour-wise. It's like a brown 
slightly dark maroon maria scattergood dan is cheeky you sound like you know him sounds like you know him and that's what i think with this there is like a vibe of people who know dan which from a branding perspective is incredibly important if you can make a product in your own brand oh, i look like i look like i'm awful um so i have uh I, I will confess i've already taken the plastic label off because nobody wants to see a nearly 36 year old woman with a pair of tweezers trying to struggle a plastic lid it's just not cool it's not classy and it's certainly not fun and it's high risk but beautiful mac so yeah rascal gin from liverpool rascal premium gin um this is batch number three. This is their original, uh, their original one. And Dan has told me that batch two, which is out in July, which you can pre-order. He's only got 50 bottles available to pre-order. Um, he's still got some left. So batch two is going to be available from, I think, week commencing the 6th of July. So this is the original one. It's the third batch. It says passion fruit and red berries take classic citrus to another level. Tropical, natural, unique, no artificial flavor, no added sugar, vegan, gluten-free, Liverpool, rascalgin.co.uk. Now, even the back of the bottle is like classy and sophisticated. Maria, he did live video on a virtual gin festival. Oh, cool. I think I've seen a picture of him on his website. Dan's original gin is fantastic. Can't wait to try the new one. Right then, Margaret. Oh, that smells nice. Citrusy. Whew. So I can smell passion fruit, raspberries, raspberries, raspberries. I can smell passion fruit and raspberries. And I think a passion fruit is quite a hard smell. As I was impressed with forged at Wakefield, forged in Wakefield last week. Passion fruit. <laughs> Yeah, it doesn't sound very blokey. It's 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 hipster, Danny. This is a modern man. This is a modern man's bottle. It's got a hipster vibe going on. Light and fruity. It's not as um. You could you could look at that bottle and think it was going to be like dark and uh, spicy, and it's not. It's light and citrusy. Mm, very nice. <laughs> Julie, I'd like to meet him and share a rascal gin, feel a party coming on. I think based on my description, a lot of people are looking forward to the interview next week and meeting Dan himself. Okay, so um, Dan has said uh, Simple Tonic is best. He said it's a very uh, last flavours I'd expect from that bottle. Yeah, I don't know who you are, Facebook user. Yeah, I was assuming smoky. I was assuming it, it would be kind of rich, dark, spicy, warm. Um, but it's not. It's light and fruity and it's citrus led, Dan has said. Oh, it's all kicking off here with my mother. Never work with your family, what do they tell you? Um, so I'm going to uh, try this. Let's try it neat as we always do. Got my little measure. Okay, there's a lot in there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm bothering to measure into a shot glass. All right. Looks pretty gin-like to me. Oh, it smells lovely. It smells really fruity. Oh, I'll show you something in a minute. Oh! I'm not being funny. That's surpassed my expectations. I can see why there's a fuss over this. It tastes quite thick. It tastes really, really fruity. Citrusy and berries. Very clear. No horrible gin kick. No, like, oof. Dan, you should have told me to drink this neat. This is definitely a good contender for a neat gin. Really surprised, not really surprised sounds a bit horrible, doesn't it? But I'm very pleasantly surprised by this because having having not known of Rascal but heard there was a bit of a um, bit of a following and seeing quite a few people like it and talk about it, um, definitely we need to, Dan, we need to be saying that you can drink this neat because that's a very, very smooth, very tasty gin. And I know that you've owned this, um this original one has only been going since the beginning of last year maybe oh it's delicious R a really really good kind of standard gin it's not non-flavored gin as such that is delicious i'm very happy i'm gonna right we're not gonna mess around we're not gonna mess around pretending that i'm going to try it with anything i'm gonna pour pour a large one um let's pull that in there Oh, very happy with this, Dan. And can I also say, I'm just filling up my shot glass. Um, can I also say, Dan, thank you so much for sending, <laughs> thank you so much for sending a full bottle, how incredibly generous of you. And you sent 
COVID, lovely. And you sent one of these little rascals as well. So I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so Dana said it's a pretty versatile gin, which I would agree with. It's got um, citrusy notes and berries. I can really clearly um, taste passion fruit and raspberries. Oh, Danny's also a music musician. Ladies, we're all just falling in love with Rascal Dan, aren't we? Well, I'm interviewing him next week. You'll have to watch. I could drink that with ice very easily. Yeah, he's a little rascal. Right, quick, eight, stop drinking it neat, for God's sake. Um, definitely one to have in this. This is this is one to get. I'm so thrilled I have it. <laughs> I have it here. Um, let's pop some ice in there. Get rid of the water because the water we don't want it watered down very fruity like a rich fruit richy fruit rather than um i said rather than um um it's not it's not light and like oh it's like a rich fruit the aftertaste is lovely i've drank one watching you it's very oh, giant ice cube okay so almost looking like a professional as close to professional as ever going to get um Dan said he really likes it with grapefruit. Um, I'm not the world's biggest lover of grapefruit, but I do like orange in my gin. I'm not a massive fan of lemon in my gin either. I prefer either berries or orange or lime. That's it for me. We all know I love a lemon, actual lemon flavored gin, but I'm gonna go with a wedge of orange. Oh. <coughs> Oh, yes, Dan. Thank you. Do you know what I'm going to do as well? I feel I'm going to break the rules. I'm going to put my raspberries in because this gin is so fruity. Look how pretty that looks. Like I've squeezed the raspberry in a little bit. Squeeze the um, orange in a little bit. Um, and let's pop some tonic in as well. Lovely. So this is the tonics that I use. Uh, I've got 10% off code with Marlish Waters. I've worked with these guys for a while now. Absolutely love it. Oh, this is going to be delicious. You little rascal, you. Who knew in the heart of Liverpool? Well, you lot all knew. I didn't. I'm new to this party. Lemon and strawberry in yours. Kirsty <laughs> said lemon and strawberry. Oh, delicious. Very easy to drink. Fruity, rich fruit, slightly, like, tastes like a, quite a thick gin. If you do know what I mean by that. Like it does, it's not, um, it doesn't taste thin. It tastes a bit thick and a bit rich with the fruit. I can tell it's got passion fruit. Oh, I brought something up. Passion fruit and raspberries. Um, Dan has sent me a message and he's described the, uh, described the flavors of the second one as well. So let me tell you it. Um, he said, just a little general rascal, general, in fact, rascal, rascal, ugh, rascal gins made from distilled base of citrus driven botanicals, lemon, orange peels forward, less juniper than a classic gin. Yeah, it hasn't got, <laughs> God bless Liverpool and Audrey. Um, it hasn't got the strength of a juniper, uh, juniper taste at all. In addition, there's a unique blend of natural fruit extracts, passion fruit and raspberry in the one you're tasting. Yes, there is. They are all dry despite a sweet nose. I've been running. Oh, and then he's saying, his next one, so the one where we've got this, um, the pre-batch, he's been doing a pre-order for his second batch, is passion fruit and blood orange, but in the same sort of tone. So that, I'm guessing in that one, less red berry flavour, so no raspberries and blood orange. And he is saying there are less than 50 remaining and they'll be match barked, uh, marked batch one. This is this me slowing my words, is, I promise you, is an overdose in hay fever tablets, not gin. This is my first drink of the day. I'm proud to say. Lovely, really easy to drink, no harsh gin kick, rich, thick, citrusy, beautiful. It's like the world's shortest review. It's 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 really, really tasty. And I think, do you know what? I think the bottle, I was expecting dark and musky. And I wonder if, um, I think the next bottle is going to be a different colour. So this is the original one. And I think I saw Dan put something on facebook that he was having bottle label printing issues and it was coming out a slightly different color so i think the next bottle is going to be a burnt orange my guess is we're going to keep, keep with the same label nice and consistent same sizing and whatnot but building building a collection um excellent gin 
Sounds great for a French 75 cocktail, i.e. gin, champagne and lemon. Yeah, it's the, I think the raspberries and um, I get a really strong berry taste to it. Not a dark berry taste like you do with a Brockman's. It's not like that. It's a it's a um, lighter citrusy, citrus and berry mix rather than Brockman's, which anyone knows Brockman's is a darker, heavy berry. Um, very tasty, very easy to drink. One to show off to your mates. Absolutely lovely. <laughs> I look angry. Absolutely, absolutely delicious. Well done, Rascal. Well done, team. Um, team Rascal Gin and Dan. Really, really enjoyable drink. So I can see why there was a fuss. I can see why everybody is following you. Classy brand as well. Nice under for me. It's got a nice underground vibe. Danny, I want it. Want to hide from your mates, Kirsty. Most of my gins are hide from mates, or as known now, hide from my husband. Um, it wasn't what I was expecting. I was expecting a dark and musky gin. So, Dan, if you're watching, this colour can take you down the dark, musky, sp deep spice notes as well, because that's what I was kind of expecting. Um, but I guess it's a, it's a, it's kind of a dark, maroony, almost browny bottle, which is where the maybe where the red berries thing kicks in. Um, very tasty. So, on the point of uh, discount codes. That what I quite liked when I asked Dan this question is there's no discount code. Do you know what you get? More fucking gin. Yeah, you do. So if you buy one of these bottles, so the codes are all going to be in the Sippers and Sharers Facebook group in the announcements. If you buy um, one of these large bottles, I don't actually know the price point. I'm bet if I ask that comment, somebody could tell me the price because I looked on the website and I don't think I could see it. Or well, I didn't click through to shop, so maybe that was it. Um, but, you know, we're going to be between, I reckon we're going to be between 35 and 40 quid. We're in that sort of, we're in that sort of bracket. Might, you might push the 40 pound bracket slightly, much put to 42 maybe. Um, but Dan has said that if you use the code SIP and SHARE at the checkout, you get 36. There we go. Thank you, Danny. You get two mini rascals. Now, I bloody love this little bottle. Um, look how cute. And I love the lid as well. Uh, so you get two mini rascals. So these mini rascals are 50 mil. Um, so you get an extra 100 mil of gin. Hello. So what I like with my gin is more gin. Thank you kindly. Um, so you can, if you order one large bottle like this, so the existing uh, number one, and why not just like pre-order number two as well? That's what we're all going to do. Um, you get two little uh, two little uh, rascals as well. And actually, let's assume that if you order two bottles, pre-order, and order one of these existing ones, Dan might give you four of these. That would be fair, wouldn't it? So that's 200, <laughs> that's an extra 200 mil of gin. Um, so yeah, beautiful, imposing bottle, beautiful, minimalist design. Um, Butterfly with an R. Does anyone from Liverpool know? Does that mean anything to anyone in Liverpool? Let's have a look. The kind of R, R, R is obviously for rascal, but the butterfly. I'm curious to know whether the butterfly, the butterfly kind of brand means anything. And then you've got the uh, anchor at the bottom, which presumably is Liverpool Dock. Something to do with that. I would be interested to know that. Hey, I could ask Dan that question on Wednesday. Um, so the sip and share code is going to go into the announcement along with the link to the rascal website and the fact that you get two free little bottles and that is only available until Sunday so Sunday at midnight Dan says that is going to expire I think he is kind of booking up this second batch uh, I am going to buy a bottle of the second batch because there is enough credibility in this gin uh in the in the first one to make me go the next one's going to be lovely and I think the following that seem to that kind of in a nice way follow rascal around um there's certainly a kind of a vibe there um one thing I was going to try um is I got some passion fruit um, kind of cocktail mix, but now I just want to drink this. Uh, mm, that passion fruit cocktail mix, I think would also go very nicely. I mean, if you like passion fruit gin, a passion fruit mix, but I bet, in fact, I'm not gonna do it now because I want to do it with crushed ice. I bet that rascal gin with some passion fruit mix, crushed ice, some raspberries and a dash of tonic on top. I reckon that would be delicious. I might have that later. But I've just got a large one of these. 
Oh, it's nice in Prosecco. Now, Kirsty, I have done on camera full strength gin. Uh, so, but it's 40%. Sorry, it's a 40% and 70 centiliter bottle. I forgot to say that. Um, full strength, uh, uh, full strength gin in Prosecco. I can't do it. I don't doubt it's nice. I feel it's going to be nice in anything. This is the thing. When you get a nice gin like that, it's going to be tasty in pretty much anything. But in Prosecco, floors me. <laughs> I'm absolutely useless. Um, I could just about handle the gin liqueur in Prosecco at the uh, live do on Wednesday night. So, um, but yeah, full gin in Prosecco, oof, doesn't quite, it just, I'm just useless. I'm just useless. So I'll prefer it. I prefer my full strength gin. Either neat, which is hardcore in itself, or um, with tonic. So uh, I will be with Dan on here at eight o'clock on Wednesday. I will put a link to their website and the sip and share. In fact, let me pop it in here. So sip and share on the, uh, what's the rascal, <laughs> build your resistance. Is it rascal gin? Let me have a look, is it rascal or one word? Rascalgin.co.uk. UK. See if that link works. Uh, let's put that on there. Can it show you? There we go. So um, if you use the code SIP and share on the website rascalgin.co.uk, um, social distancing. <laughs> oh, Margaret, I don't know what you're referring to social distancing, but there is a lot of social distancing happening in this house. Gin. In Prosecco and sparkling water is less lethal. Danny, there's issues there with mixing in mixing Prosecco and sparkling water. Is that what you're suggesting? I don't know. I don't know about that. I just stick with Prosecco uh, and gin liqueur, I think. So go on to rascalgin.co.uk, enter the code SIP and share, and you will, for every large bottle you order, you will get two small mini rascals too. So you get one of these, which is a prize in itself. And then we get two of these little beasts as well. What a cute little bottle you are. And a lovely, lovely label as well. Um, so the uh, the second version, I don't know what the best word is to use, the, the, the second uh, gin is uh, available from the 6th, I think the website says around the 6th of July. So if you're taking those pre-orders now, so why don't we all just get one of those second bottles as well and then let's all have a live drinking session together. Uh, one, uh, Diana says, one straight with fruit, one with Prosecco, best of both worlds. Yeah, two, I was born with two hands, fortunately, uh, one, one in each, yeah. So thank you very much for joining me. I'm going to go off and enjoy my drink. Danny, I'm on the website and I can't see where to enter the code. Ha, huh, let's, uh, oh, I can't do it. If I go on here, it will take me away from this, so I won't do it. Um, I will speak to Dan and see if he can, uh, or do you know what? Message, message at Rascal Gin. Let's message, let's, let's bombard Dan with messages. Um, message at Rascal Gin. In fact, if I think I can tag him in here. Oh, Gin. Um, so he will see it because we want to get this gin bought um, so yeah Dan if you're watching where do we put the discount code in and if anybody wants to get it either tag message Dan directly on at rascal gin and use the code sip and share which is available until midnight on Sunday or if you message me I'll pass, it, pass your message on to Dan too um okay folks thank you so much for joining us i will see you on wednesday at eight o'clock when i will be with the rascal man himself talking about all things gin where this has come from and his gin history and unsurprisingly i'll be drinking a rascal gin again um so i will see you on wednesday uh thank you so much folks have a lovely rest of the weekend or the weekend and remember if you want to get involved in the live group taste testing Oh, hi, Chris. Bye, Chris. Live group test taste testing. Please go onto the Sip and Share UK page, Facebook page, and um, click join, or click, sorry, click going in the events. And also go onto the website and you, you'll see the join in page. Go onto the join in page and you'll see what to do there. Uh, all right, folks. Bye. See you on Wednesday. Thanks, everybody. Bye.